to LBC, Long Beach, California, where we find our next guest who's been married for 31 years to the love of his life. They have two boys and one daughter. They have a, they have five granddaughters, two grandsons, and actually another on the way. So I mean, actually, it's actually it's six now, right? There you go, six. Uh, led on or helped with worship at very various churches, the last being Calvary Chapel Lakewood. He is self-taught on guitar and has been blessed to share God's word all because of Acts 4.13. Because he has been with his Jesus, yes. Uh, he writes a daily devotional and also writes songs. I love how he puts this, plagiarizing God's word. Yes, indeed. Please welcome from Long Beach, California, Jose Barajas. Hello, Jose. How are you, my friend? Good, Joe. How are you, buddy? Good, bud. Uh, what's uh, been new with you these days? Uh, just uh, enjoying family. Uh, actually, that is outdated. I should. I was trying to send a. I was about a, to say what on the way. I was like, eh. you know, we got oh. we got four four boys, four girls, and you know the two boys. Um, the most recent just had one that was born on Christmas Eve last year, and then uh, Wyatt. I mean that's Wyatt, and then uh, Bowie, who I actually I was holding before we went live on Facebook. He's uh, four months. He was born in June. So, yeah, we're wow. blessed, uh, you know, just having a great time with the kids and grandkids. Highly favored, yeah. Four four boys, four girls. You almost you can almost feel the co-ed sports team <laughs> all of a sudden now with all those. I'm coaching my grandson's soccer team, so, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you play soccer? I did. I played high, uh, soccer in high school. I played volleyball. Um, what what position you played? I played goalie. You played goalie. Yeah. All right. Any other sports you play? Where's soccer your main one? I played volleyball. Actually, um, have a gold medal in the Junior Olympics of uh, '84. So, whoa! Um, and I coached volleyball uh, one year at a high school, and we I, we went to CIF. It was the first time they'd ever gone to CIF. So, um, just, oh yeah, love sports. My Dodgers won tonight, so I'm excited. So, <laughs> <laughs> you and Rob both, I think. Yeah, they. They were, I think, they were behind in that series too. They were two to were. one, and then they came back and came back and got it. That's yep. Yeah. And of course, they have quite quite the stellar player on there. Yes, they, yes, they do. Uh, it's a, it's. A, they, I'm sure they're favored to uh, make it to the series now. Uh, they have got a good chance now. On to the NLCS. Yes. Yeah. Jose, what's the first song you got to share with us tonight, my friend? Uh, it's a call you never change. Um, hold on a second. Let me get my dog out. <laughs> he was trying to sing along with the. Sorry, yeah, the dog was trying to sing along with me. This is uh, you never change. It's uh, out of Psalm 102, and uh, Malachi talks about God not changing. So. Nations fall and nations rise, they are only for a time. The star shines and the earth it quakes, God made the world in six days. And man was formed and man he fell, a leap of lie that leads to hell. He ate the fruit that brought us death, we know that life is but a breath. But you, God, are the same, and your years, they have no end. My God, forever you reign, oh Lord, you remain the same. Cover our sin, a humble king who left heaven, become our sacrifice. 
sacrificial lamb Yesterday, today, forever You are the great I am Cause you, God, are the same And your years, they have no end My God, forever you will reign Oh, Lord, you remain the same Oh, Lord, you never change Ah, uh, yes, Jose Barajas right here on this edition of Red's Room. So awesome to have Jose with us here tonight, uh, ending this night in great worship this evening. Uh, what's up next for you uh, around the corner? More family time, more writing music, uh, continuing to up your lyric video game, uh, a little bit of all the above? A little bit of all the above. I've just been writing songs. I took a break from doing the devotional for a little bit. Just kind of been studying a lot of stuff and putting some new things together. Focusing more on um, figuring out a way to do maybe an online study um, and really do like uh, what's called uh, sleuthing the scriptures, you know, being like Bereans and really going deep dive into the scriptures. And uh, so, but you know, the grandkids, uh, soccer, we're going apple picking tomorrow. Uh, we do that every year. So, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. So. so Jose Barajas is right here. Now, of course, we we dive into the we asked uh, Jim this question. I'll ask the same thing of yours. What uh, what guitar do you are you happen to be playing tonight? Today I got uh, probably hard to see, but it's my Taylor. I got my Taylor going today. So it's song. This I haven't been playing it a lot, so I thought I'd break it out today. So I think it was feeling neglected. So because I've been playing my seagull for all my songwriting. <laughs> there you go. Taylor's getting some love tonight. So you, like Jim, have cracked out the Taylor tonight. Good stuff there. Uh, what song are you going to be uh, gracing us with next with that Taylor of yours? Uh, this is called My Savior. Um, I'm a huge fan of the hymns, and so this is. Uh, my rendition uh, or a shot at a hymn. I know Jim did a couple great hymns there, so uh, this is one I call, it's called My Savior. On a cross that nailed my Savior For the sins I've done come I know I don't deserve his love and mercy, but by his grace I now am blessed. Jesus took my door.
Jesus, it took my darkness. He, he saved my soul. By His blood, I am forgiven. Oh, He has made me white as snow. He will come again one day in glory to redeem those who did repent. Jose Barajas right here on Red's Room tonight. Great to have everyone joining us here this evening. Got more songs left here on this night tonight. Yay, Jose. Great song, says uh, Monica. Enjoyed that song, says Kim. Indeed. Um, who are some of the inspirations that have helped uh, shape your music over the years? Who are some of the classics that you've been digging? Um. Obviously, I've you know said it before, but I'm a huge Keith Green fan, Rich Mullins, uh, early um, you know Stephen Curtis Chapman, uh, those kind of guys. Um, you know, just uh, back in the '80s, you know, I was a big Depeche Mode, Cure, Pink Floyd, Eagles, you know, classic rock, so that kind of music. Um, but yeah, on the Christian side, uh, like I said, huge Keith Green and Rich Mullins fan. Love their singer-songwriter style. And Keith Green, I mean, he really spoke the, you know, the Bible. He did what you know I, I'm doing, plagiarizing God's word. So, <laughs> really did. He really did. So uh, such great stuff, such classic uh, influences there. Their music is, uh, I guess, you could use the word timeless. I guess. Um, and Jose. Uh, does a lot here on Red's Room as well. He does uh, an outreach from time to time, and he is also a rotational host from time to time on here as well. He's doing the music thing tonight. Uh, we're halfway through his set tonight to song number three. Jose, what do you have to share with us tonight? Uh, this is uh, Let All Creation. Um, this is Psalm 19, basically, um, and I just wrote this Wednesday, so hope you guys enjoy it. Pray. 
his love the words of my mouth meditation of my heart be says kim jose your music is so calming uh says monica it does it has it does bring a semblance of uh, peace and calmness i do enjoy listening to your music that's um, a lower um, for that regard as well uh, stacy says good song uh thank you everybody for tuning in tonight what now i know you write songs all the time you're a great songwriter in that regard what's probably the fastest amount of time that you've had a song come together for you um well that one i put together in about 10 minutes so um 
Wow. Most, of, most of them, most of them take about 10, 15 minutes, you know, to like get it. And then obviously I'll go back and tweak it a little bit, like maybe add a word, take a word out. Um, but once, you know, I'll be in the uh, bathroom sessions and, um, you know, I'll be in my car and scripture, um, you know, cause I do six different studies of through the Bible, um, a day. And so every year I kind of go through the Bible six times. And so I'll be something from my study just like catches my, you know, mind. And so like Psalm 19, which is one of my favorite songs. And that one just kind of, um, you know, came out and I was started singing that let all creation, you know, uh, shout for joy. That's where, where I started. And then I just went to Psalm 19 and got literally, if, if you read Psalm 19, that, that song is literally out of Psalm 19. So um, it's God has blessed me with the ability to write. So I'm just thankful. And I want to use that gift, you know, like it says, if, if, if we keep our mouths shut, you know, the rocks are going to cry out. And, you know, Jesus said that to the Pharisees when they told him, you know, hey, you know, tell your tell your disciples to be quiet. And he said, if they if they be quiet, then the rocks will cry out. And we need to remember that. Um, you know, we God doesn't need us; we need Him. But we were created to worship, and so we need to worship, and we need to be out there shouting, opening our mouths for God, and and being being that voice in this dark world. So, uh, <laughs> Red saying, a Bible session in the car. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's better that than than another session in the car, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. See, I got, I got, I got spud to face palm more now than I did during uh, the other show earlier. That's it's fantastic, <laughs> and and all the more fitting that the originator of the spud nickname. Uh, is here, right here, on on Red Room. Are you one of those types that uh, of songwriters that you know puts a song out to YouTube or releases it uh, almost as fast as you write it and come together and and get it out there, or are you one of those songwriters that probably has like a pile of like ten or twenty unfinished songs that are kind of sitting on the shelf waiting to to put music to to see the light of day? Uh, obviously, you know, recently, you know, with the uh, CMS, you know, uh, the Hangouts and stuff, it's like literally it's, when I write it, I'll, I'll record it. Lately, I've been trying to, you know, step up my video game, you know, putting some words, lyric videos. But, you know, I just sit down most of my videos on, on YouTube, um, you know, they're in my living room and uh, I just turn on the, you know, video and play it and put it out there. It's like, you know, I want to get it out there. and. You know, some of them are good, some of them are, you know, better and, you know, but I, I still have a lot of songs that that I have that I ha haven't even put out there and, you know, stuff that I've written over the last, you know, five years and one of these days I may get around to do all of them, but, you know, it's just something, I like something and that new song, you know, that I just did, that that one is probably one of my favorites that I've done. Um, you know, I have a few favorites that I, that I really enjoy, so. <laughs> uh. Good stuff. Well, we look forward to the continual flow of content uh, over the next uh, little bit of time because we have some more songs to put out. We look forward to showcasing them on both of our platforms, the Reds and myself there. And uh, we are down to our final song of the evening. You have the distinction of performing our last tune for us tonight. Jose, what's the song you have picked out, chosen to, uh, to end things with tonight here? This uh, song I've don't know how long ago I wrote it. I want to say five years or more, but this is Psalm 100. And again, if you open up Psalm 100, you're basically, you'll, you'll see the words. And then the bridge is uh, Psalm, the first verse of Psalm 101. So uh, this is called uh, He is God. Serve the Lord 
with gladness will come before his presence with singing be thankful to him and bless his name cause we are the people of his pasture singer-songwriter in his own right there. We're so glad to have Jose with us uh, ending this night on such a peaceful, worshipful note here on Red's Room. Always a pleasure and a privilege uh, hosting him and his music here on uh, both of our uh, platforms. Uh, Jose, tell us where we can continue to um, follow you, whether it be your Facebook or YouTube or whatever you got going on. How can we stay connected and uh, keep on listening to the music? uh youtube is where i put all my videos um it's uh at jose barajas 5023 and then uh, facebook obviously i put 
uh, my devotionals when I start that back up. But uh, yeah, that's the only two places. I am on Spotify with one song because of Rob Reed, but it's his song. <laughs> Oh, yes. You had a little a bit part in uh, Seeking the Sun, didn't you? Yeah. You're on there, too, so. I I, I am. I am. So you, you had a little uh, a chorus recording session with Rob for that, too, I would imagine, huh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's a great singer-songwriter, too, so. Yeah, so it was uh, great having a bit part. I, see, that's, see I, I would expect to find you on Spotify. See, I wouldn't have thought... In a million years, besides maybe a podcast that I would have my name credited on an actual song, that just kind of blows my mind. So that happens. Yeah, that's one thing I did not see coming. Uh, yeah. But there you go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, my YouTube, it's out there. All my songs are out there. Uh, not all of them, but you know, all my videos are out there, and I'll be putting the new one out there hopefully uh, Sunday. So there you go. Good stuff there. Let us uh, pray for Jose before we uh, have our nightly visit with Red and to close things out with uh, Spud while they're doing the closing prayer. Lord, we just thank you for Jose. We thank you for continuing to use him mightily. Lord, continue to bless his family. Continue to bless him uh, personally and professionally as only you can do. Our Jehovah Jireh, our great provider, we just thank you that you're continuing to utilize Jose. Continue to fill him with songs and lyrics and words and testimony, just anthems of faith that you continue to to write and to plagiarize your word so magnificently that it would continue to impact and change lives and minister to hearts all across not only the LBC, the Long Beach, California area, but across the U.S. and across the globe wherever you're, uh, wherever you take his music. So we just thank you that those have ears, let him hear. We thank you that... <clears throat> The music tonight by our artists, whether it be Jose or all of our guests who have joined us tonight, may their music go out and go forth um, as they continue um, to shine a light, share the good news. So we just thank you that you will just bless each and every one mightily tonight that performed and shared their music uh, and continue to be with all the people who are watching tonight. So I thank you for Jose. Thank you for his family. Thank you for the great support that he is to our our ministries as well. We just thank you in your message. You continue to bless him uh, in his music, in his, uh, in his uh, outreaches, in his uh, ministry, in his family, and uh, everything uh, he sets his heart to. Lord, we just thank you uh, for Jose and continuing to use him greatly for the cause of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, brother. Thank you, Jose. Appreciate you very much. Good, sir. Always an honor and a blessing to have you here uh, with you. us on this uh, great night on Red's Room. All the all the best to you, brother. Um, 